Hello again. Good morning, YouTubers. My name is Richard. I'm here with uh, more of my portal burning gang stock. Um, in this video, I'll talk about uh, this letter that I, written out, that I had written out to, uh, I sent to Global News, as well as uh, other media sources. And I'm basically asking them, um, is it true did Clifford Robert Olson write letters to a guy on Vancouver Island by the name of Tim Kelly? That's what we're asking here. And I'm told by a doctor that no, this is all in my head. Tim did not do that. The police did not suspect me of anything. And that's why he put me in the hospital. After I had explained that the RCMP were responsible for causing my nervous breakdown, which first got me in to see the doctor. The RCMP and the gang stalkers were working together to uh, put me in a mental hospital, and that's what they did. Now, I want this information because I'm told that no, it's not true. But yet here I'm sitting on the couch watching the news, and I see it on Global News about how Clifford Robert Olson is writing letters to a guy by the name of Tim or Kim or Wim or whatever. It doesn't matter. I want that information. And I'd like to show it to my, my wife. I'd like to show it to my mother and my father and my sister and my brother. Because uh, they believe that this isn't true. It's not real. Uh, none of this happened. But yet I know it's true and it's real. I was told by a doctor that no. So what kind of doctor would sit back and pretend and say no? Uh, Tim didn't do that when, the, when, when it is true. And why would the government allow Clifford Olson to write letters to anyone, let alone a, another child molesting freak? That is unbelievable. And um, I want that information. With that information, I can show my wife and my family and have something for them to wake up to because they're in deep denial that, yes, Tim is the killer of Michael Dunning. He is the killer. Or at least that's what I've been made to believe because of the RCMP and all that's happened. And Tim himself has helped out in this because uh, when I was first in the hospital the first time, you know, there I am sitting there making these accusations against Tim. And then uh, Tim's sister comes to visit me in the hospital and then proceeds to tell me that, oh, well, way back when... Tim was put into a mental hospital for two weeks because supposedly I gave him some heavy drugs. Well, I don't remember that. I don't remember giving him heavy drugs. You see, what I think happened is Tim w w went into a mental hospital because of what he did. And killing Michael was probably harder than, than he thought it was going to be. And this is what caused him the, the mental uh, anguish. Now, when he was in the hospital, I can't imagine what he was telling authorities because if, if my according to my sister, or his sister, sorry, uh, that um, that no uh, that he did write a le or, or he he did say that uh, um, I had given him heavy drugs when I didn't I didn't give him heavy drugs so what is he hiding Tim's hiding something okay now with the fact that uh, I also hear that he's went to the police and told them stuff about me and that's what I think happened they basically uh, leaned all over Tim and he rolled over and uh, this is what he came up with he came up with trying to uh, pin it on me and that's why the investigation went on because the police believed that I was helping Tim when that's not true I didn't help Tim do shit uh, and so when I see this on the news and here I'm being told that no it's not true well that doesn't sit, sit right with me and I need to find out more information so when I write letters to uh, Global and other people and they don't respond what does that tell you I mean come on it's very simple. Did you or did you not uncover something that, like uh, like I said, Clifford Olson was writing letters to a guy by the name of Tim or Kim or whatever. His last name was Kelly and it was on Vancouver Island. And this is what I need to know. And people are hiding this information from me. So if you, the general public, can find this information and bring it to me, I would greatly appreciate that. Because I would love to show my family members. So remember, just because someone appears to be insane don't always believe it don't always believe it when you hear someone's being put away in a mental hospital because there's a lot of sick and sinister things going on and that's why i was put put there because for punishment for rolling over on or for for bringing information about clifford robert olson and clifford or uh, john robin sharp and tim because no one wants anyone to be the hero except the RCMP. The RCMP doesn't want someone to be a hero like me and come along and solve crimes. They can't solve without me. That's that you know that's that's pathetic. It's pathetic that this should happen. 
And uh, here I am, as I've already explained, now they're punishing me with the drugs that they give to me because it's causing me nothing but anguish, pain and misery and suffering. That's what they're doing to me. And it's because I can solve the murders of little boys and girls. And it doesn't have anything to do with Tim either. So I don't know what the RCMP is thinking here, but they're not thinking too straight. You, you don't persecute someone and then just leave all the information there for them to come and gather it all up behind your back, okay? That's pathetic. Um, so I want you, the public, to know that yes, my foster, I am making accusations, accusations against my foster brother that he is the killer of Michael Dunahy, and I must warn the public about it. And I must also warn the public, don't ever bring information to the police about anything, especially missing children, because they will gang stalk you. Your life will be destroyed 10, 5, 10, 15 years after everyone's forgotten about, oh, what a hero you are. And maybe even they gave you a bribe, they gave you some money. Ooh, good for you. Well, your life is done. When people forget all about you, that's when you're going to, the next thing you're going to, hey, did you hear? And the next thing you know, you're locked up again. Because they're not done with me. They're going to put me in the hospital again, I'm sure. They'll think of something, something they can come up with. But um, in the meantime, if you have information, please, someone, seeing how the media does not respond to this sort of thing, and they have no morals, maybe you, the general public who's listening to this, who does have information that, that this is true, please bring it to me. I would appreciate that. Till the next time, take care. Remember, God loves you. Love you more when you use cannabis and hemp.